especially the human beings, we thought that the earth on which we live, it is flat. It was in 1577, Sir Francis Drake, when he sailed around the earth, he proved that the earth was spherical. Quran mentions in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 29, it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who merges the night into day and merges the day into night. Alam tara anna laha yuliju layla fin nahari wa yuliju nahara fin layli. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night. Merging is a gradual and slow process. The night slowly and gradually merges into the day and the day slowly and gradually merges into the night. If the earth was flat, there would have been a sudden change. It wouldn't have been a gradual process of night merging into the day and day merging into the night. Allah gives a similar message in Surah Az-Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 5. It is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who overlaps the night unto the day and overlaps the day unto the night. The Arabic word used here is kawara, which means to overlap a coil. So the Quran says it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who overlaps or coils the night unto the day and overlaps or coils the day unto the night. Coiling the word kawara is used, how you coil a turban unto your head. So this overlapping and coiling of the night unto the day and the day unto the night is only possible if the shape of the earth was spherical. If it was flat, it was not possible. And Allah further says in Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, we have made the earth as an expanse and we have made the earth X-shaped. Wal ard the bada zalika dahaha. Wal ard the bada means, and then we made the earth X shaped. One of the meanings of the haha is an expanse. And the other meaning of the Arabic word dahaha, it is derived from the Arabic word duya, which means an egg. And we know today that the earth on which we live is not completely round like a ball. It is geospherical in shape. It is flattened from the pole and it is bulging from the center. And the Arabic word duya doesn't mean a normal egg. It specifically means the egg of an ostrich. And if we analyze the shape of the egg of an ostrich, it too is geospherical in shape. Imagine, the glorious Quran mentions 1400 years ago that the shape of the earth is geospherical. It does not say spherical only, it specifically mentions like the egg of an ostrich.